everybody welcome to today's video and in today's video we are going to discuss about the subjects that you'll study in the BTEC in biotechnology course especially if you're planning to take up this course at SRM University in Chennai in India so this is based on my uh, undergrad experience so the topics that I'll be telling you are the ones that I studied from 2012 to 2016 so eight years ago I had the same question when I got selected for the SRM University entrance exam and I was just wondering what are the types of subjects that I'll be studying in the next four years so thank you for asking this question this question was asked by Mr. Tarun Sharma so hi Tarun if you're watching this I hope you find this useful and I hope this is useful to the other uh, 11th or 12th graders who want to take up biotechnology uh, courses so uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the type of subjects will vary quite a bit depending on the type of uh, biotechnology course that you're applying to in different universities so this really differs in, in terms of in which university you're applying to so uh, take it with a grain of salt that whatever I'm t telling you today in this video is more about what I studied for um, for the four years at SRM University in the biotechnology program so in all to tell you um, what are the you know subjects that you'll study I'll take you year by year because I'm actually holding my transcript at the moment and um, I will tell you about the types of subjects that you'll study so you'll mainly have uh, since it's a program for four years you'll have eight semesters and in semester one and two the type of subjects that you'll come across will be very much uh, similar to the other engineering branches because in the first year of your engineering they'll teach you uh, common subjects however one or two subjects will differ so in the first semester you will have subjects like engineering mathematics physics chemistry uh, basic engineering yes there will be some additional subjects like uh, personality development nss or ncc so you can choose between those you'll also have computer literacy and in the second semester you will have um, environmental science material science advanced mathematics um, and then you'll also have something interesting like a workshop practice so in this you will do some welding carpentry and other stuff um, and in the second semester I remember that we had this uh, biochemistry laboratory and cell biology as theoretical subject so this is another fun fact here is that at that point of time like eight years before I never thought that I'll be teaching biochemistry uh, laboratory so like serving as a teaching assistant here at the University of Zurich um, however it's it's just very um, I never thought about it so make sure that you pay I made this point because make sure that you pay attention to the type of subjects that you taught because you never know where life will take you so it was an interesting uh, course however uh, the experiments will be very basic and if you like biology then you will really enjoy these and in the third semester you'll have subjects like enzyme technology genetics and cytogenetics immunology microbiology and um, you'll have the laboratory courses for those so microbiology cell biology immunology laboratory uh, courses and then you also have personality development so if I remember correctly for us the personality development started in the first semester and it ended um, in the sixth semester so this is quite a long time so for three years you'll have constantly personality development and another point that I want to uh, mention here is that in each semester you will study 11 to 12 subjects and these 11 to 12 subjects will be a sum of both theoretical and practical subjects so it's actually quite a lot uh, like if you want to learn a new language it will be another thing which I'll tell you now so in th third and fourth semester you'll be asked to choose a foreign language at that point of time we had five options and I ended up choosing French which did help me later on but if you already know which universities you want to apply to abroad uh, which is quite early but still I think by the time of your third semester if you know somehow then make sure that you start preparing for the foreign language especially if you're wanting uh, wanting to do a master's course and come to Europe then this will really help you 
So this is one tip that nobody told me, but I'm sure this is gonna help you if you take this seriously and take an action for this. And then in the fourth semester, we were taught subjects like biophysics, momentum transfer, bioprocess principles, uh, right? And then molecular biology, laboratory, genetics bio, uh, laboratory, um, also uh, personality development, as I mentioned before. Then um, towards the end of fourth semester, you'll have to take up a uh, elective. During our time, we had plant, uh, medical biotechnology, fermentation. I ended up taking uh, medical biotechnology, which had very interesting subjects like drugs and pharmaceutical biotechnology. It had protein engineering, then cancer biology, and also stem cell biology. And I really uh, like these four subjects because they gave me insight about medical biotechnology and also um, they increase my interest in research, especially cancer biology and drug and pharmaceutical biotechnology. In fact, the basics that I learned uh, during that time, so in my sixth semester, uh, while studying drug and pharmaceutical biotechnology for a semester time, I literally apply those basics in my PhD because I am uh, treating uh, some patients with drugs and we really have to know the basics there. So, um, like, it, is, it gets a bit intense from the fifth semester and in uh, towards, I think, your seventh and eighth semester, you can also go and do the semester abroad program. So you can spend a semester in a foreign university and get exposure there, which is a good opportunity um, that if you want to take up. And um, in the eighth semester, you'll have only two coursework, which is different from the all other uh, seven semesters and so you'll have two coursework and a project work so make sure that you choose a nice lab where you can do a nice project work and in between I didn't mention this but you will also have to do a mini project so you can do this in an industry or um, do a small mini project in a lab um, another point that I wanted to mention here is that a lot of uh, subjects that we studied during this time had uh, parallels with uh, chemical um, engineering so you can also make friends in that field and uh, discuss these subjects so you will have some common subjects like momentum transfer heat transfer mass transfer thermodynamics um, yeah so that's quite about it i guess so and uh, so thank you so much for asking this question if you have uh, more questions related to subjects just ask them in the comments below and i hope these uh, videos are helping you it's been uh, quite a while, so it's been four years since I completed my undergrad, so maybe I missed, on, I missed out on something. Um, yeah, well, actually, just to uh, come back to you, the mini project will be in the sixth semester, so I think by, then, uh, by that time you get quite well versed with the research. Um, just some tip here and there is that if you're really looking forward for research in your future, make sure that you start joining a lab towards the end of your first year so that you get a glimpse of how does it feel like to work in a research laboratory, which is the same thing that I did. And I'm, I'm so glad that I got that advice in the early years. And that really helped me to secure a master's uh, position abroad and also now it really helps me every time in fact i'm trying to establish a new project along with my phd and whatever i learned during my undergrads is helping me out there so never underestimate any subject you never know what uh, you learned back then could teach you further in your life so yeah just enjoy your journey it's a beautiful journey if you um uh, try to maintain a balance between your studies and also have a nice friend circle. You won't get these day, days back again because you'll have a lot of increased responsibility later on. So I hope you like this uh, video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you share this with other 11th and 12th grade students who are seeking or planning a career in biology because a lot of times when we take up subjects like biology, especially in India, people think that we can only apply for um, medicine and become a doctor later on but nowadays we know that it's not the same and you can equally end up in research and do really great there so and s soon also after biotechnology you can switch 
to other fields like I switched to neuroscience. So make sure that you keep on updating your knowledge and um, keep watching videos like this, like not just my channel, but there are other PhD students who are working very hard uh, and exposing you to the other topics. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe it and um, I'll see you in the other video. If you have other questions, make sure to ask them and feel uh, free to do so. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.